All right, here's the plan for tonight. I'm gonna make every bit of bare metal ready for etch. So that means getting the uh, factory primer off every surface. I've got a bit more here, here, uh, the front passenger side door, and that's it. Everything else, every other bit of bare metal is ready for etch. So that's ready for etch. Yep, yep. So yeah, that's tonight's project. So if the etch were to arrive tomorrow, which it won't, uh, it'll be ready for etch. And then it would be ready for epoxy. So, yep. Kicking butt. It, this, it's going to be painted soon. The only thing that's going to hold me up is not being able to get the paint as soon as I want. I mean, there's the whole getting the car straight interval in there, but I think the most frustrating part will be having to wait for money for the uh, paint and clear coat to come in. As it is, I have to wait for the uh, high build primer, but we're, we're working on that. So anyway, gonna kick ass. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so the quarter panel is stripped where etch is going to go. I just need to do some metal work here. So I've got my uh, metal working hammer. It's a converted claw hammer. The uh, face is hammer or um, ground flat and a slide pin. And just going to try to work that fender. You can really see how it's deformed from this angle. That's good like that. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to fix that only with filler. I at least have to fix this profile and get that tucked in there a bit more. So yep, that's all DA work. Uh, like I said, letting the uh, compressor cool off while I do some manual labor. So yes, Anthony, I do use power tools, a DA, like other people. I don't use tiny squares of sandpaper like you using a bicycle that doesn't even go anywhere. You know how many miles you put on that thing? Uh, zero! Get a real bike. Well, not a mini bike. That, you know, the engine's doing all the work. I feel sorry for that engine too. Holy crap. Especially with all those extra big clothes you're buying to like make it look like you lost weight. Nobody's falling for that. And uh, dropping your shorts on video is really gross. Nothing I want to see. So anyway, I look forward to you losing weight so we can see less and less of you. Kicking ass, kicking ass, kicking Anthony's ass, ample ass, big huge ass, kicking Anthony's. All right, so this... Uh, mess here is far more complicated than I thought and it's really hard to give you guys a good look that's probably the best look it sort of fades in here and this line not the uh, the profile the profile I can get that's easy it's this line here that fades in and then comes back here and it's all good here and it all sort of does weird stuff in here. Trying to pound it out from inside is difficult because I have to do it by feel and sort of imagine that my fingertips are touching and then line up my my dolly which is the slide pin and try to pop it out but even if I'm right on with that I'm not going to be able to pound this profile back out, this line back out, because I can't see and I can't reach, can't see both sides at the same time, which I kind of need to do, and like that. So, other than buying another 
freaking quarter panel and or trying to make a patch a compound curve bent patch that looks right I'm gonna try to work with what's here um, mesh whatever is convex or uh, above the profile pound it below the profile and try to make it up with filler um, I mean it's not it's shallow but I know once this is all one color it's just gonna stand out like a like a <laughs> so anyway that's what I'm doing all right well it looks the same to me through the viewfinder but uh, ready for etch this door the door on the other side this quarter panel sail panel and the roof that uh, driver side fender and passenger side rear door <coughs> excuse me are all ready for etch so whenever that gets here I'll be etching and then right after that I'll be epoxy priming because I have epoxy primer ready and waiting already mixed up in the cup yeah no so uh, I'm going to find something else to do. Hmm. 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 Uh, I'll figure something out. So I started working on the uh, the rear bumper valance splash guard trim piece filler thing that goes between the rear bumper and the rest of the car. So two paint jobs on there. So and I'm not sure if it's two single stage or one single stage and a base coat clear coat paint job. I, th I think it's two single stage, although, you know, I'm talking out of my ass because I can't tell one from the other. Um, but comes off really tough. Acetone and Scotch-Brite pad gets into it, but it's just a mess to get the rest of it off. You can see some paint clinging over there, but uh, yeah, I'm going to call it quits for tonight and go in and get some dinner because I didn't eat yet. So, uh-huh.